What's going on y'all? It's your big homie Ray, the hood wine connoisseur, back again with another video. And you know how we get down. I'm giving you the wine review the hood way and dropping a little bit of knowledge on you so you can have some good times drinking bottles of wine like your boy. And what do we have here today? Bong, I already opened it up. This is Sexy Wine Bong. Now I'll give you a little backstory on this. As I was walking around with Total Wine, looking for uh, my Taste Buds Tuesdays first victim, I happened to stumble upon this little wine here. Jeez, can you hold that for me? Thank you. I happened to see this wine that said Sexy Wine Bomb. I was like, man, I was just saying that my Sexy Time Bomb was just about to explode as soon as my beard connects. It's over for y'all boys. I promise y'all it's over for, over for y'all boys. But I had to pick it up. I thought it was a cool name. I thought it looked like a decent looking bottle. So I said I'm adding it to my review list. So here we go. All right, Jeez McGee's, hand me the bottle so we can rate what this bad boy look like. You know me. I like a good looking bottle of wine because I like to be able to put it up on display. Wine bottle's already open. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm doing this the hood way. Really, you're supposed to cut the foil off right at the, under the tip if you want to do it the professional way and then open the bottle of wine that way. But me, I just pop that bad boy right on open because I don't care about all that. That's too much work. Bum, it's open. So on presentation, I think I'm giving this bottle a six. Uh, it's a decent looking bottle. I'm not gonna lie to you, the name is interesting. It's definitely gonna catch somebody's eye. You have it out. Sexy wine bomb. Uh, the red contrast with the green um, wine bottle with this textured label. It just looks good. It looks like they took their time on it. Uh, I think I'll get this maybe a six and a half, seven. It's kinda, it's kinda general. It's not that, you know what I'm saying, flamboyant, not that crazy looking. Let's get to what, you know what I'm saying, the people come for, and that's the aeration. I know y'all like seeing the aerated. I like seeing the aerated too, so I'm going to ahead and show y'all a little bit of what's going down. Let's get it popped. Pour that up, pour that up. Pour it up, pour it up. Let it all fall down. You know what I'm saying, geez, geez McGee, hold the wine please. Thank you, sir. Back on up. All right, people, you know what time it is. It's time to smell that wine. Y'all, I know the last couple videos I've been, you know what I'm saying, real nice on my rating scale. But I think I finally found a wine to talk about. This wine stink. This wine smells like wet wood and grape jam. Wet, woody, grape jam. So, mm -mm. I'm giving that like a three. Um, the only reason why I'm giving that a three is it has an aroma. It has something that you can smell. It's, it's a strong aroma. But... That don't smell appeasing, I promise you. Nah, that's a three, baby. So the reason why I say it smells like wet jam, um, this is a California red blend. And you know, from California, it's a hot to a medium to warm climate. So you're gonna get a lot of ripe, uh, berry tasting wine. So the grapes are kind of, you know what I'm saying, ripe. They're gonna taste like blackberries. It's gonna taste like Peaches, it's gonna taste like real dark colored fruits. And on your on your colder, cooler climate, climate wines, you're gonna get your very tart wines. Uh, so it's gonna, you know, you're gonna get tartness like lime, green apple, those kind of fruity things. And usually the cool, the cool climate wines are gonna give you the sweeter wines, the more uh, uh, aromic wines and stuff like that. The, the warm, hot climate regions are gonna give you like a, a very bold, uh, full body wine and, and this one, I see why they gave this a three out of five on uh, Vivino, my favorite app to use to check out wine reviews of people that actually taste them and to store the wines that I've been tasting, all that kind of good stuff. Y'all go out and give Vivino if you're really down with this wine game. Uh, I see why they gave it a three. This really doesn't smell that good and I'm actually a little bit, of, a little bit afraid of how this wine is gonna taste. Now you can't always judge a book by its color cover. Uh, this looks like a nice wine, nicely crafted wine. If you if you kind of take a look at its angle, it's uh, it's a very deep looking wine. It's cool, um, but that smell, man, that this wine kind of stinks. Yeah, no, this don't smell good. This don't smell appeasing. It might smell appeasing to y'all. I got a manufacturer know. I've been some of y'all already know about stuff that I've been through, but yeah, this one don't smell good. It's, and 
and I'm, I'm not a real big fan. So let's get to the taste test. Oh man. <coughs> Y'all man, I've really been on the roll with picking good wines. This might be my first L. This, you can really taste the, the blackberry, and I'm not a real big fan of blackberry. You can really taste the blackberry in this, but it really don't have no other flavor to it. It's, it's got a strong alcohol finish. It's really warm in the back of my throat, but boy, this wine nasty. This wine tastes like bark and plum mixed together in old rainwater. This don't taste good, man. I don't even know why they sell this bad boy. Let me see. It kind of tastes like medicine too. It kind of tastes like, it tastes like grape Robitussin. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I gave a smell of three. I gave a look, I think a seven. This tastes, this tastes by a three too. I don't recommend this wine. This one's gonna be hard to get through. I don't even think that you can drink this on a, on a good day. Like the 13% alcohol, it's cool, but this does not taste like something that's refreshing or even, this is not drinkable. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let me try it one more time. No, man, it's tart. And usually red blends, so it has a Syrah, a Zinfandel, and a Merlot in it. And, and to be honest with you, those three grapes are supposed to be like mild in acidity. And this one is super acidic. And it actually doesn't have that much tannin, which usually you would expect from those three grapes. This one don't have a whole lot of tannin in it. You can, you definitely get a whole lot of warmth in the back of your throat, but it don't feel good when it tastes like medicine at the tip of your tongue. It's not sweet. You taste the berry, but you don't taste no sweetness in it. No, this ain't it. This ain't it, Chief. Sexy wine, but I thought you was going to explode, bro. You exploded nastiness into my mouth. Pause on some real tip. This is crazy. Blends have more fun. No, this ain't a fun wine. Let me tell y'all something. Don't go buy this. I, I'm sorry, sexy wine bomb. I don't know who make, don't go buy this. This ain't one of them good wines. I hate to, to rag on it like this, but this wine tastes like, this wine tastes like medicine. I am highly disappointed in myself. I'm thinking that this about to get, we about to get sexy with it. We about to get jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm bringing sexy back with this one. No, cause this one's nasty, dog. And I feel like I'm putting on, but if y'all want to try it, let me know what y'all think. I don't think this is a good taste of wine. Jeez, you can throw this bottle of wine away. I ain't even gonna finish this one. This one is hot. No, cause this, that's not it. Um, yeah, if y'all want to try this wine, it's sexy wine bomb. It's it's eleven ninety nine. I think it, yeah, it's eleven ninety nine. Twelve dollars. If you want to try it, if you think my taste buds, are I can smell it on my breath. It don't smell. It kind of tastes like blood. No, this ain't it. No. Uh, yeah. Sexy wine bomb. That mug it did not detonate at all. So, uh, cheap. Uh, I, 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 mm -mm, no. Uh, y'all. As a whole, I'm giving this wine a three. As a whole, and the only reason why this bad boy is not getting a zero in my book is because. I mean, I gave it a seven on the way that looked, which I'm going to dock that because it, they lied to me. Ain't nothing sexy about this wine. So really, I'm giving this whole thing a three. The, the presentation, three, because they lied. The taste, three, because it don't taste good. The smell, three, it don't smell good. So yeah, no, this ain't it. That's an L, that's a, a never get, uh, whatever. Uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to another week of wine reviews. I'm actually really disappointed in myself. Like, comment, share. Help your boy out. I'm a black business. Help me out. Share me to your friends. Share me to your people. Have people watch me. Because I'm giving out wine reviews that's for real. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. All right? Once again, it's your boy, the hood wine connoisseur. Jeeves. But Jeffrey back there, I'm using an actual camera this time. But we'll be back next week with Taste Bud Tuesdays and a wine review. I got two back-to-back -back videos for you guys. And I might even give you a little tutorial on some, on some, on some teacher type tips. So check me out. I see you guys next week, Hood Wine Reviewer. 